What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Mankind. Let's get straight into it. I'm just saying. Well, when have I ever gave you bad advice? That's you real quick. When have I ever told this, you something and you didn't listen not, and went is, belly I'm up? I'm not doing that. We know that. You All don't right, have then. to stroke your ego right now. I'm we not know stroking that. my ego. At I am referencing the, okay, everything I say. Okay, I got you. We can big you up all day. That's big fine. Bag, I'm telling bag. you something. So I don't understand what you're okay, saying. Okay, so what Explain. I'm saying is... <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I understand the frustration of women because what they're saying is there's not a big pool of good men. Ho, ho, ho! Fiction can be fun. That's a lie. 100%. Completely. That's not a lie. That, that is a lie. That's not a lie. You There's not a pool. That. There's so many good men. There's a plethora of good men. There's so many men on the market right now that if you threw a rock down the street that you live at and it landed in front of a random apartment or a random house and you knocked on that door, I bet there's more than a 60% chance there's a man that is worthy of being in a relationship. The problem is, is that you ladies are so delusional that you think your worth is so much higher than it actually is. You're asking for new car prices for a used vehicle. <laughs> Got 300,000 miles on a Subaru saying, oh, it's fresh off the lot. We ran the odometer back. No, you didn't. Shots fired! Shots fired! Stop the cap. It's not a, listen. That. Can I finish the story? Listen. You listen. sat on the phone with me and said, listen. how many good listen. men listen. are there in this world? I wish you weren't a liar. I There's said, There's not a lot of them, so listen. please don't play with me listen. because I remember everything listen. you tell me. Listen. What? Listen, shut up for a second. There's a lot of, it's, there's not a lot of good men who want y'all. <laughs> I'm clapping for myself. Yeah, men don't want ran through women. We don't want masculine women. We don't want argumentative women. We don't want women that are going to try to run everything. You're not the boss, babe. You're supposed to be submissive. A lot of good men out there, like they, we're the good man that, like, they hiding under a rock or in a cave. They everywhere. They at the gas station. They at Costco. They at Equinox. They at the bank. They walking Facts. right past you, and you don't show up on their radar because of the way you are. Mm -hmm. Boom. They're going to walk right by you, okay. and you in L.A. If you in L.A., or anywhere LA adjacent, uh, your pretty face ain't gonna go too far because everybody's pretty. Matter of fact, you ain't even gotta be born pretty or wake up pretty, but when you leave your house, you're gonna be pretty. So everybody's pretty. That's a prerequisite. So if that's all you got to offer, we're not looking at you. Hmm. So there is- You gotta have depth, man. The thing is, a lot of these ladies think their superficiality equi equates to their entire value. The thing is, you're born with a pretty face. Ladies, you're born with your value. Men, we have to go out there and earn it. Why would we put you on a pedestal when you were born with everything that you got? Unless you got a bunch of surgery. Unless you got your hair, you know, you got hair extensions, the cumbrellas, your teeth done, your titties done, your booty done. You know, unless you got all that, then, then that's really not even you. That's a facade of who you are, right? But ladies, you, you get your value straight out the womb. Us as men, we got to go earn it. So we don't, we're not going to cater to you when you were given your value. Come on now. Any a good man. I am not rare in that way. I am rare in a way that I'm probably the only one of the only few good men that you have a close relationship to, but there's plenty of good men. There's mm -hmm. plenty of good men. They just don't want your ass. Facts. First of all, just look at her fucking body language, man. She's sitting there like trying to be a man, <laughs> imitating the guy next to her. Like, I don't know. She Well, the thing is, a lot of these women do, they act like men. They really do. And then they talk really loudly. Here, here's a great comeback for anybody that's going to try to speak really loudly to you or just say something and try to be louder and louder. I always say saying it louder and saying it over and over again doesn't make it mean more. Screaming it doesn't make it mean more. Repeating it doesn't make it mean more. Just because you're saying the same thing doesn't give it any more value in the conversation. It doesn't have any more weight in the conversation. So you can keep repeating yourself. That's totally fine. But it doesn't mean anything. It means the same thing. And just because you're screaming it and you're now you're loud doesn't mean that it it means anything else honestly the louder somebody talks it's a sign of lower intelligence because you feel like you have to scream to get your point across if you're intellectual intellectually speaking you can be cool calm and collective you can get your point across you can speak eloquently you can speak with an upper echelon of vernacular you know what i mean but a lot of these women don't have that they don't have any of that <laughs> that's why they have to scream that's why they have to holler they have to try to get into they get into their emotions to try to get you to get on their same level but us as men we're smart enough not to do that hey uh, what, what bus is, what bus is, uh, is this uh, what's that 
Yeah, uh, did you learn anything, sweetheart? Fuck someone with a car next time. This week. Look at that. Ooh, wee. Oh, so this guy just passed. Condolences to my man here. Forgot his name, but I saw something on um, TikTok or Twitter that he just passed. What? You see that booty? I did not. Oh, man. That's... My eyes are on the road. Okay, mine was on that booty. Mm. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, my God. Gotcha, bitch. Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! The preceding joke was brought to you by men. Men! We don't know what we did. <laughs> man, fuck this shit! Don't let anybody ruin your day. Ruin it yourself. Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's hilarious. God damn it. Somebody needs to slap the taste out of her mouth. Oh. Getting all that attitude. This is the this is the thing that grinds my gears. Does somebody want to carry it? You want to carry it, looks? Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. This is what grinds my gears. Is these ladies really out there talking at the mouth and doing all this lip service like somebody won't physically violate them? That's the thing. Jordan Peterson talks about this. When us men were conversating, there's always a low level threat of violence. With ladies, they don't fear anything. They just want to mouth off <laughs> and say whatever they want and feel like nobody will smack them. This is where I got to shout out to the Gen Z's because the Gen Z's all about equality. Equal rights, equal lefts. Like you kids out there, <laughs> I got to give it to you. I see, I see y'all duking it out with women, and I don't know. Maybe that's the equality that they wanted. Personally, I, I'm not a fan of it. I don't think you should put your hands on anybody unless you're getting paid to do it and like an MMA fighter, but hell, that's what they wanted. Well, chew it first, weirdo. You sitting over there choking on it. You got to chew it up. You can't just swallow it whole. It's always the women that want you to act like a man, ain't it? Get up and act like a You don't even know what a man is. You're a woe man. Come on, man. I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. Wow. I have it in my hair and on my coat. So maybe you can chill the hell out for like this a second. This is why I say women grow old, they never grow up. Then maybe I can focus on some shit, you know? Clearly she has no concept of personal space. And honestly, I don't well, think- She's just in her feels, dude. She's in her feels. She's screaming at this guy. I'm just like, if it was another man, honestly, if it was me, I'd probably be like, man, this sucks, but I came to this game. This is where, this is where I'm always like, <laughs> you can't always play the victim. She's playing the victim, right? This happened to me. This sucks. I got all this. It's his fault. Ma, ma, ma. You got to take ownership. She decided to go to this event. She decided to go to this hockey game. She decided to wear that jacket. She decided to sit in that area. So you have to realize, I made all these decisions. I probably made a dozen decisions to get here. So the fact that this fell on me is my fault. Like, I just don't get it. There's like no accountability. And now she's screaming at the top of her lungs, acting like a child in public. <laughs> like, realizing how stupid she looks. We see this guy, cool, calm, collected. He's just like wiping her jacket, doing what he, I just, it's so funny to me, dude. It's, it's... <laughs> She's screaming like nobody will put hands on her, bro. It's so funny to me. <sighs> that women occupy 65% of PR jobs. We still live in a world where only 14% of Alaska crab fishermen are women. And 10% of roadkill removal specialists. <laughs> women are perfectly capable, and they have every right to be down there mining coal with the boys. 50% of coal miners should be women minimum. It starts at home, whether it's mowing the lawn or building furniture. We've both been doing our part. Dave, I support you in both of your careers. 90% of whale snot collectors oh are still Men. Or ninety-four percent of porta potty cleaners. What message does this send to our daughters? <laughs> are you willing to step up, or are you too entrenched in gender? Are daughters? you willing to step up? Total equality in every way. God, I love it. I love it. <laughs> what do you think I'm fucking? I'm not. Get inside. I try. 
You literally I just busted your fucking hours with you. With you flirting with other fucking bitches. No, I didn't. Dude, <laughs> Bro, she dropped. <laughs> she just fell out. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Hold on. <laughs> she just fell out. She knocked herself out? <gasps> Bro, I'm sorry, oh, but if- oh, oh, oh. this one, she's a keeper. You ever heard that saying? A drunk Dude, if man she came to life? my, well, first of all, why are you taking a grenade out and also a big bag, big bag? Why are you taking a big bag, big bag? <laughs> taking a grenade out on a date. This is the last thing you should do. This is a landmine right here. Do not take her out on a date. And then she comes back to your your crib barefoot. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever had a, a crazy Tinder date like that? A girl like obsess over you or try to come back to your place and you're like, I'm good. I don't want to kick it, honey. I'm good. Because I already know that you're a... She's a runner. She's a track star. You're trying to come back to the crib on the first link. We already know it's, it's, it's smush a clock, buddy. Silent. What are they really thinking about? Yeah. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Well, here's the thing, dude. Men can think about nothing. Women can't. Women can't even comprehend that men could be thinking about nothing. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. <laughs> Alright. Check this the beginning of time. Still hit though. Has been and will always be the ultimate comeback. Your dick is little. Still, Still hit, hit though. though. That's why you broke. Still, Still hit, hit though. though. No matter what a woman tries to say to shame you, if you already hit, you won. The more she tries to insult and shame you, the more her standards come into question for letting you hit in the first place. Because at one point in time, she saw you as that boy. She wouldn't have let you smash if she didn't. Take some accountability for letting me smash. Still, hit, still though. hit though. That's what I was saying, bro. I still hit though. <laughs> I'm still behind you, like oh. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a great comeback. If a girl's ever like tripping about you or saying, yeah, trying to insult you or anything like that, you just yeah, still hit though. You let me smush, so yeah, you should be questioning yourself. Or you have to call out by yourself. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. He wants to break up. I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be. Oh, look, there he is. Oh, that's not him. Oh, my God. <laughs> you all are fucked. Off giving my BFA shovel. Bro, I, would, I don't know about you guys, but I would love to go out to the beach, kick it for a day, and, and build a sand castle. I don't care. Call me childish. This That just looks fun. Kick him in the hole! Oh. Ah! Grenades, what are you doing? <laughs> Silent cousin! What did you call me? Babe, stop embarrassing me for my friends. <laughs> well, you're kind of being one. Bro built an entire civilization in an afternoon, and all she did was come over and try and tear it down. Bro, Go I figure. love it. I absolutely well, look, love it. A, That's hilarious. I would do that. I'm going to keep it a buck. I would do that. Okay, what's this one? This dude's clips. I've never reacted to this guy's channel, but I actually like it. He's he's pretty good. All right, let's see what this clip's all about. Just think different. <laughs> oh, no, bro. That's a wrap. Holy f***. He oh, saved that no. thing. Get absolutely. <laughs> no! I just got the savagery. Oh my god! I can't believe I'm getting this on video. My man, <laughs> my man. Bro got laid that night for sure. But just look at the two reactions. You know, one went. That's crazy. I, I don't know. Like, let me know in the comments. Would you dive back in the water to go get your ride? I mean. Hey. That sounded a little sus. <laughs> Go back and get your rod. <laughs> oh, that was good, bro. There's no way. Well, first of all, I wouldn't be deep sea fishing or nothing like that. I don't, I don't do a deep water, bro. California is considering stopping physical fitness tests in schools over concerns they lead to bullying and body oh shaming. Oh, my God. So good job getting Stupid. gym canceled, you fat loser. <laughs> For real. Whoa. For real, bro. Come on now, dog. 
<laughs> what is this last one? It goes like this. One day or day one. One day or Hey, I mean, hey. I can concur on that, bro. Brick by brick, day by day. Okay, where'd you go? Go to your place. They want to see you. You're the co-star of the show. I bought that raised bed for you so everybody could see you. To that last one though it really is day by day bro consistency will get you so much further i saw um i heard a quote the other day i might have said this in a previous episode but talk is often the substitute for action stop announcing all the stuff you're trying to do man just go out there and do it action you think i told anybody hey i'm gonna start a youtube channel hey i'm gonna start a reaction channel no no i never said i never told a soul i just started doing it in the first five months people thought i was crazy and then month six they're like wait you, you hit ten thousand subs and then month seven i hit 20. the same month i hit 30 then 40 then 50 then 60 and we're almost we're probably might be at 70k at this point when this video comes out but like a day a day at a time man and then compound interest interest when you start working on this stuff consistently and this is with anything you want to get good in the gym start going once a day start exercising for 30 minutes a day you want to you want to read a book read a little bit every day but the, it, that consistency of habit man will absolutely change your life absolutely change your life this is why i show up every day for you guys bro this is why i show up because i know that it takes repetition to change societal norms and right now societal norms in dating are lost we're doomed we're absolutely doomed modern women are going one way men are going the other way Male virginity is on the rise. Women promiscuity is on the rise. Women are selling their bodies online. Like, I think we need to bring shame back. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let me know in the comments. Is shame a good thing? Is shame a good thing? Let me know. I think, personally, I think shame is an absolutely great thing. Shame worked back in the day. It worked with the Scarlet Letter. You guys remember reading that book? If a woman went out there and uh, had a baby outside of wedlock, she wore the Scarlet Letter. Everybody knew to stay away from her. It was a bad thing because people knew that kids in one parent households weren't successful fatherless homes breed most of the de uh, degeneracy in society right now you want to see the degenerates ask where are they daddies at because most of the time there's no dad around i saw an interview with cam newton and this chick she was talking to him um and she absolutely grilled this man because he has eight kids by three different women and she was like you're just creating kids that don't have homes like they have houses, but they don't have homes. They can't all have time with you. Like you're literally creating broken homes. And he just couldn't take it because I think Cam Newton, there's some value that he brings. He's, he's content sometimes, but I think at a base level, he's kind of narcissist. Maybe it's the CT. I don't know. I, I, was, I was a fan of him when he played football. But when you're out there creating broken homes, there's nothing to be proud of. And he was like, oh, I want to have more kids. I want to do all this. And I'm like, bro, why? You already have eight kids with three different women. Why don't you go marry one of the women that you've had kids with and, and build a home and try to move? Like, you're rich enough. He's rich enough where he could have all of his kids live close. His baby mamas could work together. All his kids could be there. And he could actually be a father to all his children. But he's not doing that. That's selfish. You want to go out there and have a bunch of illegitimate kids and not even marry these women? That's selfish. You're robbing them of having a father figure. That's self. That's why, that's why it irks me, bro. But if we don't talk about this stuff, how's it? How's anything supposed to change? It's just going to be all cool. It's like the I'm going to start calling it the Nick Cannon effect. <laughs> the Nick Cannon effect, having freaking 12 kids, 10 baby mamas, and not being able to really parent any of those kids. All those kids are going to be raised by single moms, You're a single mom. and they're going to be in fatherless homes. It's going to be a very high probability that these kids are going to turn out to be degenerates because they're not going to have a dad at home. And the thing is, these ladies aren't going to have men to come in and sweep them off their feet and take care of somebody else's kids. Let me know in the comments, would you take care of Nick Cannon's kids? <laughs> would you swoop in and be like, come here, little, little Cannon. Let me take care of you, buddy. Stupid. I ain't doing that. I'm not playing Nick Cannon's, uh, Nick Cannon's saved game. I'm not playing that. <laughs> that is not a game I want to play, bro. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to um, like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. And go cop the ebook, The Four Steps to Style. It is literally the holy grail when it comes to everything from style, haircuts, fragrances, everything you need is in that one book. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki, did you have fun? It looks like you did. Really appreciate you guys, man. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.